Now, the father of murdered toddler James Boulder has pleaded with parole chiefs to keep his son's killer behind bars, claiming John Venables is still a danger to children. Ralph Boulter's life was destroyed 30 years ago when James was abducted from a Merseyside shopping centre before being brutally tortured and murdered. His young killers, John Venables and Robert Thompson, were released after eight years with new identities. And while Thompson hasn't reoffended, Venables has twice been recalled to prison, most recently for, for possessing indecent images of children. Venables, who's now 40, is set to appear before a parole hearing behind closed doors next month, meaning he could be freed by Christmas. But appearing on Talk Today this morning, an emotional Ralph Boulder warned that releasing Venables for a third time would be a mistake. Well, to be honest with you, I think you've got to do everything you can to try and keep him behind bars because he's been a danger from day one. He's re-offended. Mm. To, to me, I think he enjoys what, he, what he's doing. And he's a ticking time bomb just mm. waiting to go off, in, in my opinion. The hearing comes as Justice Secretary Alex Chalk backs, backs a new law that would hand the government the final say on whether or not repeat offenders can be freed. But 30 years on from the brutal murder of James Boulder, should Venable's release even be on the cars? And I think the answer to this one is simple. It absolutely should not be. Uh, and James Boulder's father is absolutely right. I mean, the fact that Thompson has been been released and has gone on under a new identity to live, I suppose, a quiet life is one thing. But Venables has been released and reoffended twice, been recalled to prison twice, once for possessing indecent images of children. I think that tells you everything that you need to know. There's absolutely no reason for this person to be released. And I think J.B. Bolger's father should have the opportunity to be able to speak to the parole board and talk about the effect that this has had on his life, on his family, on his community. But even without J.B. Bolger's father doing that, there's no way that Venables should be released. And I think that's obvious. I think uh, I agree with you on that. I think the only element that I have concern about um, is because he, I think, wanted to be in the parole hearing, even though the, the, um, there would be some kind of uh, a screen or otherwise, in order to say his piece. I, I feel that's a step too far, not because I don't think that, um, you know, that message should be given, but I'm not sure it shouldn't be necessarily given face to face. Do you think that would be really impactful, though? Uh, and and I, and James I, I wonder Boulder's whether, father is willing to do it. It's not, you know. I, and, I wonder whether it pushes the, the the justice system too yeah. far because I think that the point here is that the reason that you have a parole board is that they are separate. Mm. There's no doubt that somebody is never ever going to get. And people talk about closure. Somebody is never ever going to get over what happened to him, what happened to his family, what happened to his child. Of course, he's not. And and none of us, I suppose, can can ever, you know beyond empathy, really understand. On the other hand, the way he spoke was so articulate and clear that somebody's been given not one but two chances, and as you say, that's kind of enough. Yeah. I just wonder, the only element that I would question, and I would look to experts to say whether or not it should happen, is whether he should be in the room to be able to deliver that message or have it delivered on his behalf. Look, I mean, James Bolger didn't get a choice, so I don't think Venables should get a choice either. But, but it's interesting because that you pin it back to the crime that those two boys committed when they were 10 years old. Because if we look at the other partner in that said crime was Robert Thompson at the... And, and back in 1993, those involved in the case oh. felt that Robert was the more evil of the children, if a child is indeed mm. evil. And then if you looked into the background of Robert Thompson, it was extraordinary. He was one of seven children. His father had abandoned him. His mother was depressed and on drugs. There was sort of violent videotapes found in the flat. There was no hope for this child. Then when he was serving his sentence, he was educated. He got uh, GCSEs. He got A-levels. He discovered Shakespeare. And he is a man who's lived at peace, apparently, in a relationship under a new identity. And therefore, it shows that actually it, this isn't about the, 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 the crime. Of course, the impact of that, of course, on Ralph Bulger is unimaginable. But actually, what we're discussing here is when a, whether Venables is somebody who can be rehabilitated mm -hmm. because of the subsequent crimes he's committed, uh, uh, which have... that's what Afi is saying, So it? I think it's, it's separate from... The, the two things have become conflated again, and I think that's unhelpful given 
just how young those boys were. This is about his inability, I think, the Venables' inability to rehabilitate. But I think more worrying here is the new bill, the Victims and Prisoners Bill, that gives the Justice Secretary the call in some of these really high profile cases, which is effectively yeah. politicising our justice system. That, that, that's the that one worries that, me. That, that, that sticks in my craw, because what I want to see is a parole board yes. fit for purpose. Yeah. And I think what's happened is parole board has made so many bad decisions that the the public has lost a lot of faith in the parole board, I think quite rightly. And to me, the answer is to change the parole board, to make it more transparent. And what this seems to be doing is saying, OK, well, if the parole board are rubbish at their jobs, then we, the politicians, will take over. And I don't think that is a good long-term solution. Mm -hmm. That, makes, that, it just, worse. that yeah. makes it worse sometimes, because sometimes you'll think some of these decisions are political. And just because a yeah. case is high profile, that politician, mm -hmm. that Home Secretary or that Justice Secretary, might get some public kudos from, guests, from wading in. Mm -hmm. And that seems really unhealthy to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. I think I agree as well.